up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Guys are surrounding me, stop it. No, 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 we're not surrounding Don't you. Don't surround me. You. We're not surrounding Keep you. Keep six feet Calm back. Down. Calm down. Everything is fine. You're forcing me to go in this direction, guys. Uh, no, you're forcing yourself to go in that direction by walking. I want everyone in my sight. <laughs> As a police officer, it was my duty to know the law. It was an embarrassment if anyone knew the law better than me. Why? Because I was a law enforcement officer. If I'm charged with enforcing laws, there should be no reason why any person other than those who were required to teach me the law should know the law better than I do. But unfortunately, we all know that's not the world we live in. We have law enforcement officers who are hired to enforce laws that they've never even heard of. This is insane. But what's more insane than that, when a citizen actually shows the police officer the law, he still or she still does not get it and still attempts to violate the rights of the citizen. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today we're taking a look at the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office and this video is brought to you by Anthony X First Amendment Audits. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show him support and go and do so. This guy is an awesome auditor and he's always prepared when he deals with the cops. I won't say much now let's jump into this video and we'll talk more about it later the street is blocked off however the sidewalk seems to be open this is the sheriff department the vta is around the corner i actually did an audit there a few months back the security guards were actually very cordial they even identified didn't really harass me it was pretty awesome guys I'm good. Appreciate it. Hey, you got your ID on you? Why in the heck would I give you my ID? Because you're being detained right now. Notice how initially it was, do you mind talking to us really quickly? Then it quickly became a detainment. These cameras must have a power that no one can understand. Because of them, changes are made fast. So? You're inside of an active crime scene. You're not hold on. Here. Slow your roll. Do you see this yellow tape? I have not once passed it. Tape all the way back there on the sides i haven't went in there i came from the Where'd sidewalk from? i came from the sidewalk over there which i'm not even required to give you that part other than that i don't answer questions i'm not here to help you in, with your investigation slow your roll california law knows you you know i i'm not moving along arrest me then okay. arrest me let's go right. put up yellow tape and i'll go on the other side of it yeah, sir i didn't all the way down sir I came from the sidewalk. There's nothing saying I can't come over here. That's for cars. So you're telling me if I wanted to go visit that sheriff department and go in there, I couldn't walk up that sidewalk and go into the sheriff department? It's a yes or no question. All I'm saying is that Would I be allowed to go to the sheriff department? Is this an active crime? I'm not over there. If you have business with the sheriff's office, you're allowed to go into the sheriff's department. Either I am or I'm not if, right I, now, if I am allowed. This is an active crime scene. And I'm not going to go into your, I'm not going to go into your active crime scene. Are no, you? I'm not, sir. So do you have your ID on you? Not giving it to you. Okay. I'm not required by California law. You know that. Come on. You're being detained right now, so you are. Are you aware of? Identification. Did you just get? Did you just graduate or what? No. So California. What's your name, sir? Let me help you with a little. What's Hold on. Stop. Hey. Slow down. Right Slow now. down. Your name Slow is. your roll. California law. I only have to identify if I'm arrested during the booking process downtown, or pulled over in a traffic stop. You know that. Yeah, that's California law. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor if you don't know the law. Before you violate my rights in California Penal Code 148.G, 52.1, and lose your qualified immunity and both have a lawsuit on your hand, get your supervisor. California Penal Code 148, Section 8. Every person who attempts by means of any threat or violence to deter or prevent an executive officer from performing any duty imposed upon the officer by law or knowingly resist the officer by the use of force 
or violence and the performance of his or her duty is punishable by a fine not exceeding $10,000 or by imprisonment. But subsection G states the following. The fact that a person takes a photograph or makes an audio or video recording of an executive officer while the officer is in a public place or the person taking the photograph or making the recording is in a place where he or she has the right to be does not constitute in and of itself a violation of subdivision A. And as you heard the cop admit, he knew the law. He was just hoping that this auditor did not know the law. Perfect example of why you should always know your rights and always record the police. You guys are about to get schooled, but if you want to go put up some tape, I will gladly walk over there. The tape's already up, as you can clearly see. So you're telling me, okay. Do you want to walk over with me? I can show you where I came? No. Because you know I'm right, huh? I know where you came from. You know I'm right, huh? Where'd you come from? I just explained to your partner. Ask him. How about I'm asking you? Ask him. I'm asking you. Ask where him. You come from? So, how'd you get in on this crime scene? Name and badge, please. Deputy Real, badge 2406. Perfect, appreciate now, it. Where'd you come from? Name and badge, please. Deputy Fierro, 2436. Appreciate it. And I'd like an incident number if you guys could generate a star or an incident number right. because I am going to be doing a FOIA request on your body cam and your body cam. Okay. It's right. public record. So, can you guys create a, a number, please? And give it. Yeah, we'll be sure to do that. Now, am I still detained? Am I still detained? Or am I free to go? Don't tell me to get out of here. My question is yes or no. Am I free to go or am I detained? You said I was detained. So if I if I leave when you say I'm detained, that's a that's a crime. Am I detained? Yes or no? Am I detained? Yes or no? No. All right, so I'm feel free to move. Move I'm free to go then. Yeah. So I'm free to stay. Get out of here. I'm free to stay. Why don't you call your supervisor and ask identification laws and do a little more research before you make a mistake again like that? Luckily, I'm not here to give you guys a hard time. I'm not here to sue you guys. It kind of seems like a but if you out. guys try to violate my civil rights, you will lose your qualified immunity. You can be held liable. Your union, nothing will protect you. Take me to jail if I'm, if I'm breaking a law. Let's go. You're a clown, buddy. So now you know my last name. Can I at least know what, to, what would you like me to call you? You can call me a guy with a camera. Guy with a camera? Yeah, that seems pretty friendly. All right, guy with I'm not here for anything nefarious, nothing uh, bad going on. I'm just recording. Oh, yeah. I'm not here to give you guys a hard time. I didn't even say one word until you did. I'm not saying you said anything. We're just saying that as far as the tape goes, it goes all the way up to... Yeah, and I never passed any tape. I can guarantee it. I have it all on film from the time I entered to the time I got here. Can you show me that film? Nope. But you can walk over there to go to the corner and you can see it. You guys got three deputies here. I'm sure your two partners can keep an eye on me without anything bad happening. Go up to the corner, walk on the sidewalk as if you're a pedestrian. There's no tape there saying I can't enter this. And if there was, when I, I've been, I was here for 10 minutes before your partner came, I'm sure you would have told me to leave right away. That's your job. That's why you're sitting out here getting paid X amount of dollars to keep people out of here, correct? Out of the tape line right here. Not on a public access area. Seriously, before you guys violate my rights, go take a look over there. It'd be, it'd be worth investigating. And then if you feel that you guys need a larger crime scene i'm just some advice put some more tape up and i'll go on the other side of it but eventually that tape line has to stop and i'm going to be on the other side and are you going to keep pushing it back where's the limit that's what your boss put up right i would imagine or the detectives or the fbi or somebody i'm not passing that if you guys want a private conversation you better take it somewhere else Seven four seven guys. How much backup do they need for one cameraman? Looks like my rights are about to be violated. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good.
guys are surrounding me. Stop it. No, no, no. We're not surrounding Don't you. Don't surround me. We're not surrounding you. Keep six you. feet Calm back. Down. Calm down. Everything is fine. You're forcing me to go in this direction, guys. Uh, no, you're forcing yourself to go in that direction by walking. I want everyone in my sight. <laughs> Name and star number, please. Uh, WMA Black Cobra Okay. Name so and star number, please. Is that all you want? Yes, please. I'll give you more than that. I'll give you the number for internal affairs, and I will encourage you to call them in the morning and complain about me to them. Oh, no, I'm not going to complain. I just want your name and star number. Okay. You haven't done anything to violate my rights. Okay. So, You've been very cordial. Hold, 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 hold on. I just want your name and star number first. Stop. Stop. Nope. No. Name and star number, then I'll listen to what you say. We, we control. Name. No, you don't. You think you control. You work for me. You work for me. You work for me. They work for me. I don't answer questions. Those questions. You don't answer questions. So once again, what are you hoping to achieve? Ten forty-six point two point one subsection A requires you to identify cordially. I'd like to see your ID card, or you can just verbally say it. No. 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 Are you going to break policy? For you guys came. I wasn't bothering anyone. I was recording peacefully. They even said code four to another vehicle that went by. I'm not doing anything wrong. We're no just, laws being broken. We're just trying to figure out. What's up, Rick? We're just trying to figure out why you're here. Why are you filming Hick? Why would I not film him? He are looks. You, are you hoping to capture something? He looks important. Something? Are you hoping to uh, document something? I don't answer questions. Appreciate it though. Ma'am, name and badge, please. My name. Is that we tell a judge my name? So is that your name? My name. There you go. You're a public servant. It's not hard to say your name cordially. Uh, like I explained to the other gentleman, guy with the camera. I just got no first name. Guy with the camera. I don't answer those questions. I'll answer some questions. You know, you guys are being nice, but I don't answer those questions. Now, if one of you want to trade your personal ID and then for my personal ID, we may have a deal. Uh, no, no, no. Well, that you see, why would I, why would I want to do it then? And to clarify, the other gentleman, he did illegally detain me. He said I was free to go, which means I'm free to stay. Are either of you detaining me, or am I still free to go? Am I free to go? This is my only question. I don't need directives. All right, I appreciate it. So I'm free to stay too. So this is the number for internal affairs. That's my name, my badge number. Perfect. I strongly recommend that you call them and explain to them everything that I did here today, okay? Are you a supervisor? No, I'm not a supervisor. You can see that. I can't see that. You can't? Do you see chevrons on my sleeves? Uh, so you, you just like to be sarcastic with the public by pay your salary, huh? No. You're, it's you're a funny working. guy. I'm going to call you Mr. Working. So you got Mr. Clown and Mr. Funny. It's not working. How many officers or deputies does it take for one cameraman? Look at that. The last cop at the end who offered the number to the IA department might just be me, but he seemed a little creepy. But anyway, shout out to this auditor. He stood his ground. He knew his rights. He educated the cops. Don't let the police step all over your rights. Make sure you know your rights. And with that being said, we the People University signing off. Want to learn your rights? Make sure you register for our online video course titled Surviving the Police. You will learn everything you need to know when it comes to protecting your rights against tyrannical cops. So make sure you visit wethepeopleuniversity.com and register today.